Okay. Okay. I get up when you get down to this Keep cool, but still get loud to this When it drops, just can't deny The mic turned off, but I'm amplified So if you wanna ride Today you will need Half a cup of cocoa powder Two cups of flour One teaspoon of baking soda Half a teaspoon of salt Half a teaspoon of baking powder One stick of butter One cup of light brown sugar One tablespoon of Kahlua One and a half ounces of bittersweet chocolate One egg yolk One cup of buttermilk So to begin, I'm gonna combine all of my dry ingredients. I have my flour in the bowl already and I'm gonna add my cocoa powder, my baking soda, baking powder, and salt and give these a whisk together. I'm also going to melt my chocolate right now. Just in the microwave is fine until it's entirely smooth and I'm gonna combine my liquid ingredients, my buttermilk, and my Kahlua. There's something floating in my buttermilk. Now that we have everything set up, I'm gonna grab my mixing bowl and into it, I'm gonna put my butter, which is nice and soft, room temperature, and my brown sugar. I'm gonna use the paddle attachment and beat these until it's nice and fluffy. Once it's nice and fluffy, throw in my egg yolk. Once it's all combined, add my chocolate. And finally, we can add our liquids and our dries alternated. So add your dry ingredients in thirds. And your liquid ingredients in halves. Finishing with your dries. Now you're all set to make your donuts. Now I'm going to grab any sort of bag that is able to have a hole cut into it, preferably a piping bag, but for some reason the only place I can find them in San Diego is Michael's and I forgot to go. So cut a hole maybe a little bit smaller than you think you should because it can only get bigger. And we'll fill this up. I'm also going to grab my donut pan, which I'm going to give a spray, and now I'll pipe my donuts. We're going to put these into a 400 degree oven. We're going to bake them until they're totally baked through. When you press down, they'll be springy. Probably about eight minutes or so. When your donuts come out, look like these. Ooh. A little bit crackly, which is like really pretty. When you press down, they're a little smushy, but they spring back up. Let them cool completely, and then we can assemble our ice cream sandwiches. And it's getting dark very quickly in here. So once they're cool enough to handle comfortably, and they'll like stay together nice and firm, take a serrated knife and cut them in half. And then we're gonna put all these into the freezer to get nice and firm. Now the lighting is completely different. <laughs> it got dark out. I look kind of green, which is weird. I just happen to whip up some ice cream. It's vanilla, vanilla ice cream. And I put some fudge covered waffle pieces and you know, like a homemade caramel swirl. <clears throat> so we're gonna use that to fill our ice cream sandwich donut sandwiches. So let's do it. Use like some at a time. So let's call this a bottom and let's just stick some on there. Take like that and just go like that. Stick some more. Then I'm just going to use my hands and put it on into the freezer. Thanks a lot for baking with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll be waiting for that ice cream maker in the mail. And I'll see you guys next week, which is my birthday week. <sighs> Timing, you know?